binomial expansion and actually the power is a whole number. So uh, two formula we could use. The second year of binomial expansion, there's one boss at the bottom and you, you could do that. You'd have to factorize out the three and put it in the form one plus x to the n. But I'd say because it's just a nice whole number, let's use the year one version. So a is going to be three b is going to be 2x, and n is going to be 5. Off we go. It's going to be 3 to the 5 plus 5c1. 3 to the 4 times 2x. You now just sort of decrease the power to 3 each time and increase the power to 2x. Yeah, and then put it all in your calculator. So um, I've done some of these already myself, so I'm gonna gonna write them in. Um, first one is two hundred forty-three, and then five C one is actually five. Whenever you've got N C one, it just becomes N. So it's five times three to the four times two, and this is eight hundred and ten. Remember the so it's five the next one five C two times three to the three. I'm trying to speed things up, but I'm gonna do this one on my calculator just to show you. Yeah, times by two squared. Remember to square the two, very important. One thousand and eighty. And the very last one is seven hundred and twenty X cubed. So then it says, hence, by determine the coefficient of y cubed in this expansion here. This is actually a trinomial because there are three terms going on. But the hence means, and the fact that it looks very similar to that means we're going to try to use our result from part A to help. Right, so the thing is, I've got the 3 already, uh, but I want 2 times something. So I'm going to factorize the 2 out of the second uh, two expressions. So it's going to be 2 times y plus 2y squared. And all of that is the power of 5. So essentially, this is my x. And I'm going to write down my result from part A, but with x replaced by y plus 2y squared. Okay, now at this point, I could write it all squared, but I'm going to write it as a double bracket because we're interested in the coefficient of y cubed. And I think it'll be a bit easier to see where it comes from writing it as a double bracket. And the same here, I'm going to write it as a triple bracket. So there's no way I'm going to get a y cubed from these first two expressions, and you could have just ignored them completely, but I, I felt like it was useful to write the whole thing out. It didn't take too long. I'm going to actually now focus on the last term, because this one's not too bad. The only way I'm going to get a y cubed is when I times these y's all together as I expand the brackets. So 10 times by 720, I'm going to get 720y cubed. And then I'm going to focus on over here. I can get, I can do y times 2y squared. Which would give me 2y cubed. But then I can also get it by doing 2y squared times y. So I can get two lots of 2y cubed, essentially. And don't forget that you then have to times it by 1,080. So that is the 
only way I'm going to generate this y cubed term. I'll ask for the coefficient, so I just need to multiply through now. So I've got 1,000 and 80, actually I already had it, times 4 plus 720. This gives us a coefficient of 5,040. Okay, so not too bad, just be careful when you're you know, putting these things into your calculator for the, your starting point, and even more so, I'd say, for part B.